So we will finish module two with a, a brief study of systems of inequalities. Now, there's many different ways to study this at many levels. The club focuses on the most basic examples, in which we have two or perhaps maybe three linear inequalities. So what we will do for these is to plot them in the plane and look at the regions of overlap of these inequalities. So it's a very geometric and, and visual technique that I think is kind of fun. So the things you might encounter look like this. Well, I'm going to give you different lines, but there's not equalities, but you know, different inequalities corresponding to them. So the technique that we'll follow is one, plot each line, and then on the same plot, shade the region of each inequality, and three, find the overlap in shaded regions. So the best way to sort of see how this works in practice is to do an example. So let's look at one. So we want to plot the system of inequalities x plus 1 is less than or equal to y and 3x minus 1 is less than or equal to y. So step one will be to plot the lines corresponding to this. y equals x plus 1, y equals 3x minus 1. So let's add some hash marks. Okay, so the first one is x plus 1. So this point is on there. It's this one. So it looks like this. The second one is x mi uh, 3x minus 1. So it looks like this. Okay, so I have plots of the two individual lines, and now I'm going to compute the shaded regions corresponding to each inequality, and then I'll look for the region in which they overlap, and that will be the, the region in which both are satisfied simultaneously. So let's pick some nice colors for this. Let's start with uh, uh, x plus 1 is less than or equal to y. I will shade that in green. So the easiest thing to do is check to see if the origin satisfies the inequality or not. So 2 will plot regions by shading. So if I plug in 0, 0 into this one here, I get zero is less, uh, 1 is less than or equal to 0, so that's false. So the picture is like this, because the origin is not included in that inequality. Then I'll use purple for the second equation. I'll check again. If I plug in 0 and 0 into there, does the inequality hold? That gives me minus 1 is less than or equal to 0, which is true. So the origin does satisfy that inequality. So the picture is like this. Okay. So we look now for the region that has both purple and green. So it's a little hard to see, but I will try to fill it in here. It's all of, so it goes this way, and then it kinks up here. So it's this sort of upper region, right? Uh, I'll just draw sort of a schematic of this very briefly. Okay, 
it's, uh, it's essentially this region here. Okay, so it's not just, uh, you know, half of a plane, which is the case with a single line, but it's sort of two lines each govern a different aspect of the, the region. It has this sort of angle to it that is not, does not appear when you have just a single equation. So, you know, very nice, I think, geometric technique for seeing this. Uh, and this is essentially all the CLEP is going to ask you to do. They're going to ask you to identify, you know, which of the following plots corresponds to uh, a given inequality. So again, to do that, we should plot the lines in separately and then shade in different regions uh, and look for the overlap between them. On the CLEP, you might not have colors, so perhaps you can sort of shade one region one way and another region a different way in order to keep track of the overlap. 